everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to give us the top studs on the board as we look toward DFS in week number eight. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. You know, we're about halfway through the season already, another slate to get to, so let's jump in. Let's break it down, and let's begin with the Kansas City Chiefs, specifically Clyde edwards Elaire. He's $7,500 here this week, and it's going to be another week where it's Clyde edwards Elaire and Le'Veon Bell, and you're taking CEH in the Le'Veon Bell revenge game against the Jets. The narrative says to go with Bell, and your top stud on the board is CEH. Already seems contrarian as we start this off. What gives, Tom? I certainly like CEH in this spot, and coming off of last week, which was a bit of a weird game for the Chiefs offense to be specific, they had a uh, kickoff return for a touchdown and an interception return for a touchdown, so the offense, you know, Mahomes wasn't out there a ton, Kelsey wasn't out there a ton, and CEH wasn't out there a ton, but... When he was out there, CEH, he was getting the touches in the high equity spots. That is the red zone. He had four total targets on the game, three of which came in the red zone. He had eight total rushes in the game, three of which came in the red zone. We have the Chiefs as massive 19 and a half point home favorites. They have a 33.75 implied team total. So we're looking to, sure, Le'Veon Bell's going to be out there in some capacity against this former team. Even if it was against this former team, he's still going to be out there with the new offense. But CEH is getting the red zone touches, and that's what we want to be going with. Making all those red zone touches, being there once again for CEH, facing off against the Jets with the Chiefs, just such massive favorites here. Le'Veon Bell, he's going to get his, but hopefully Clyde edwards Elaire continues to dominate the red zone touches and proves his worth on Sunday. Up next, coming off a bye, it's Adam Thielen of the Minnesota Vikings. He's your top stud wide receiver on the board here, Tom. Thielen is $7,700 over on FanDuel this week. As we said, had a week off. The Minnesota Vikings facing off against Green Bay. You know they're going to have to score. Are you a little bit nervous about Jair Alexander on Thielen, though? As you said, they're going to have to score 54 and 54 and a half over under. We should be seeing them with a positive game script. And, you know, we saw Thielen kind of roast the Packers in week one, six, one, 10, and two touchdowns in that game. He's a 30% target share. And I know Alexander is a very, very good cornerback, but we still want to be looking at the volume of, you know, targets for Thielen. 30%, which is 10% higher than Justin Jefferson. We know that he's getting all the red zone touch, the red zone targets for the Vikings. $7,700, I don't think is too premium of a price tag for a receiver who could see 12 targets. Adam Thielen went off here in week one. We expect more of the same for both Thielen and Justin Jefferson as they have to score to keep up with the high-flying Packers. We'll see if they can get it done here on Sunday. Finally, we'll move on to the stud tight end. And you're going away from a guy like Travis Kelsey, but you're going to the focal point of this Raiders offense, and that would be Darren Waller. Waller's been as consistent of an option as there is at the tight end position, a tricky spot, and you trust him here this weekend. Very reliable, as you said. And if we remove the uh, game against New England Patriots where he was kind of, uh, you know, shut down defensively, he has seven targets or more in every single game. He leads the team in targets with 55, while the next player, Hunter Renfro, is only at 33. He leads the team in red zone targets. He leads the team in red zone touchdowns, more importantly. He has three total on the season, all three of which have come in the red zone. So we know that Carr, who's playing surprisingly well this year, is looking to Waller in the red zone. Under $7,000, like you said, I think is a great price tag. Going up against the Cleveland Browns, we know are not good on defense. They're not good on defense against the Titans, specifically allowing almost 12 FanDuel points per game. So we're getting the consistency with total uh, you know, volume of targets for Waller. We're getting the red zone targets, and this game is shaping up to be a bit of a shootout. The Las Vegas Raiders offense runs through Darren Waller, and I feel comfortable with him each and every week this week, certainly included, especially if it's a shootout and all those points are scored. Waller's going to be a major factor. Yes, John Gruden says we have to get the ball more to Henry Ruggs, but he's not the focal point of the offense. That would be Josh Jacobs and Darren Waller this week. That's it for us here at the Vandal. Hurry up, Tom. We appreciate the time. Good luck this week. Absolutely. Talk to you later. We'll talk to you later in the week, specifically Thursday, as we fill out our value plays to pair them up with the top studs on the board here for week eight. Before that, we'll talk to Megan Nunez tomorrow as we go over her top bets here for week eight. For Tom Becchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.